welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to iBuy, probably one of my most difficult airstrips to land on by far. So let's go ahead and get started. It's just a 13 minute flight back to Garoka. Super slippery this morning. So let's go ahead and get started. Igniter's on, our fuel pump is on and low start. Let's get over 14%, then I'll flip on my fuel because I'm on a side slope. All right, oil pressure is coming up. ITT is coming up over 500. NG is coming up over 40 now. And then once our ITT starts dropping back off, then you know your start's done. Generator on, up forward, 20 degrees of flaps. Our V2 tracker's on. Alternator's back on once the amps drop down. Then our auxiliary bus is on so we can get these blowers going and start cooling it off in here. Anyways, we're here in Papua New Guinea, right above Australia. Obviously the blue dot. And we're just doing a quick little 13 minute flight back over here, back to home base in Garoka. All right, let's go ahead and get to the top so we can not just be draining all my fuel from my left tank to the right tank. It's really soft right here. It's fairly steep too. And I'm really light, oh my goodness. More than likely I'll have a tailwind on takeoff for here because I had a headwind and downdrafts and whatnot. It was exciting stuff. Landing, but I had passengers on board and I don't like filming when I have passengers on board if I don't have to, especially if they're sitting up front just for their privacy if you're wondering. I have it in just heavy beta right now, I'll throw my emergency brake on so I can do my pre-takeoff checklist. Our fuel selectors are both on, our controls are good. And the rudders. Turn Betty off so she's not yelling at us for takeoff, telling me to pull up in terrain. Which is an instrument, some completely empty today. Just dropped off a bunch of stuff. So I'm at 5,000 pounds, so I rotate is at uh, basically 52 and right about there if I had to come back in for a reason. Just head back at right about 7,000. I'd have to be at probably 7,500 because there's one mountain straight ahead of me that I'll have to pop over. All right, we are set indicated and verified at 20 degrees of flaps. Set up our trim. Our abort, because it's so slippery today, it's just going to be brakes release. Even if I wanted to stop even like in like 50 feet, I could potentially potentially slide off the runway because it's just, I mean, there's standing water uh, when I was flying the drone around just a minute ago. We're on an 11% slope, so it just tells you how wet it actually is. After takeoff, we'll pitch for 85, make a right-hand turn, lower terrain, get their feather, 80 full flaps close to the ground, emergencies, crack my door, master's off. All right, ignition, all of our lights are on. All stations I by one two zero decimal one November Tango Echo Taxi I by Garoka. All right, we are at six thousand four hundred thirty degrees Celsius. It's probably not that hot out yet. I can guarantee you it's for sitting in the sun. Um, so six thousand. We'll go probably thirty because there's no way. Or correction, eh, we'll go between twenty five and thirty because it's there's no way it's thirty degrees out yet. We'll go thirteen hundred. So. 1250 for 1300. Ignition condition. Flaps 20. Pulling harnesses. Cliss is complete except for SAR. We'll get that in the air because I just can't get a hold of them today. All right, good chance I will start sliding once we uh, add power. So 1250 and 52. For this one, I'm going to try to lock this in as much as I can so I'm not bouncing around. So. That's what I'm going to try. There we go. All right, here's speed alive. There's 43. There's 52. Airborne, bump up my power a little bit. I've got nine knots of headwind. Don't sink.
and RITT back to 740. You can kind of see how bumpy it is right here. Now imagine that trying to land on the side of a mountain. It can get pretty scary pretty quick. Thankfully, I was able to get in here just a few minutes ago. Now I'm saying I have a four knot tailwind. So the wind is just swirling in there and then you're trying to land on a specific spot without ripping your gear off at the end of the runway. All right, over 85, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. We'll go zero and bring our prop to 2000 RPM. I'll bring our ITT right on down to 720 for our, our climb, which is basically 7000, what we already are. We'll go up to 7500 though, uh, just because there's two ridges that we have to be a little bit higher than 7000 to get back into Garoka. Morsby 1201, November Tango Echo. All right, landing light off, engine light back to normal, and our igniters are turned off. Morsby 1201, November Tango Echo. All right, well, I'm going to be talking to Goroka Tower here in about another four minutes, so I'm not going to worry about getting a hold of him. I'll just give the tower my details that I need to. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys this. This is Mount Ilambari right here. Absolutely incredible rock face. It goes all the way down. I don't know, just a few miles down, but really, really cool. I'd love to get on top of there someday and just check out the views from up there. Because, I mean, you fly an airplane and it's one thing, and you see views, but there's just a different aspect about it when you're standing on ground, taking a look out over the same view and over the same valley. I had a comment in one of the other videos where I flew next to this one, not, and they said that they had climbed this. I don't know where they climbed it, on the front, on the back, or whatever. The back side's not nearly, nearly as steep, but uh, nonetheless, really, really cool. All stations here. Ilambari, November Tango, Echo, on the south side of Ilambari, 8,000 for Garoka. All right, pop up over top of this and back into the Garoka Valley nearly. Rook Tower November Tango Echo. Rook Tower November Tango Echo, one five miles to the southwest. Your circuit time on the hour via the car car. Number Tango Echo, number Tango Echo, departure out of highway. A affirmative departed time five zero. And landed time, I don't really actually remember, probably 2 0. Nova Tango Echo, QH 1016, runway 35 left, uh, correction right. And a second left base, report on base. 1016, report, left base, 35 right, Nova Tango Echo. Alright, finally we got that. Collectors and brakes are good. Nova Tango Echo, you're the number two behind us at Tango Brown. ATR for Morsby, estimate 05. Uh, second, you'll be number one. Copy, I'll be number one in front of Alpha Tango Bravo Nova. Play back All right, we're going to leave our VREF in at this exact same because uh, it's only a 15 minute flight, so no dramas there. Lights on. Flow 140, we'll do bypass. We're just coming through the call call gap here. And just in case of there's maybe birds or something, that's why I'm throwing the bypass in now. And we'll finish up the rest here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and bring my torque back up just so I can get there a little bit faster. Crazy, it's just got seven, eight knots of wind right now and it's just rocking me all over the place. So after this flight, I'm heading down to Medang. Uh, November Tango, Echo Alpha Tango, Bravo, just request your current position. November Tango, Echo. Currently five miles to the southwest of the field, 7,000 on descent. Copy Alpha Tango Bravo. All right, our lights and inlet are done. If we do need to go around and power up 20 degrees of flaps, it's for 73 knots. Reset our ITT to 740. All right, we'll push our prop forward, get our harness. Once we get about three miles, we'll call our base. Go 
for 10 degrees of flaps because we're below 138 knots. And below 120, we can do the next set of flaps. Crook Tower, November Tango Echo, left base, 35 right. Tango Echo, 35 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 35 right, November Tango Echo. All right, we'll turn final, 5600. Tango's flaps. All right, we'll have two knots of tail when landing, full flaps, checklist complete. And turning final. 500. All right, we'll probably just come in at like 65 to 70. We're empty and there's no point. Coming in too slow. That's the tailwind. Kind of bouncing me around. Continuing. Idle. All right, and just going to beta. I don't have to go into heavy reverse just because I'm light. I'm just going into beta. I don't have to touch the brakes. I'm basically just using the rudder pedals just to stay on center line and go low idle. So we have, some of you guys have asked what the high, low, high idle is and low idle. We use the high idle so that uh, it's idling a little bit higher so that, you know, if we have to go around or something, we're at idle all the way, it will come in a little bit quicker. And um, then low idle is just for taxi around. Otherwise, it's just going to want to pull you along. Our strobes landing light off and just put our taxi light on. Our flaps and our trim ready for the next flight down to Medang. So thanks guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you guys did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Sure do appreciate that. Consider subscribing if this is the kind of content you guys enjoy watching and uh, see you guys next time. All right, uphill fuel turned off. All of our lights are off, auxiliary generator, alternator. Alpha Tango, Bravo, four mile finals, runway three five left. Tango Bravo, three five left, clear to left. All right guys, thanks again. You guys have a great one.